What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. I'm not at home. As a matter of fact, I'm here. And where this here is, is actually in Indianapolis, Indiana at the Lucas Oil Stadium where the Indianapolis Colts play. And for my Verizon fans out there, this is one of the very first 5G stadiums that's available right now for the NFL. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about 5G, why it's really, really important, how AT&T fakes their 5G, and how Verizon has come through to show that this stadium, you can watch and do all kinds of things while you're here enjoying the Colts, hopefully losing to the Browns. That's right, I said it. So let's talk about what 5G is. 5G is kind of that next iteration. It started with 3G, and I remember when I had my first 3G phone, it was super fast. And then 4G came along and I had the Thunderbolt, which was my very first 4G phone, and that was blazing fast. Now 5G gives you ability to get one gig down, which means you can download like a Netflix episode in like, I don't know, like half a second. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's seriously about three to five seconds. You can download a half hour Netflix show that quick. So yeah, go ahead and give me that 5G. Now one thing to note, here at Lucas Oil Stadium, it is a Verizon 5G, not that fake 5G that you get from AT&T. And so here's some screenshots that I have from my particular device that you can see that it says 5GE up at the top. That's AT&T's fake 5G. Do better, AT&T, you, you know better than that. But here at Lucas Oil Stadium with Verizon, here are some of the speeds that you can pretty much expect. So I had a chance to chat with Paul from Verizon and rather me regurgitate everything that he said because I would inevitably screw it up. Let me go ahead and just have you listen directly from him. So we just launched 5G service here at Lucas Oil Stadium. We've lit up 13 NFL stadiums across the country with Verizon 5G. As far as markets, we've uh, committed to 30 markets by the end of 2019 to launch Verizon 5G. We've got about 23 that we've launched so far, so we've got a few more. And as you've seen with some of the speed tests we've done, when you're on 5G, we've, we've committed to 450 megabytes down, but we've been seeing bursts here at Lucas Oil well over a gigabyte. In some cases, as we've, as we've been testing across the US, we've seen bursts over two gigabytes. Paul just mentioned Verizon's really leapfrog and is the number one provider of choice when it comes to 5G. However, there's a caveat with that. While they're gonna have the 5G available, there's only a handful of devices because of device manufacturers not really having 5G devices. Now, of course, there is the Note 5G, but that comes at a premium coin. Much like the 4G LTE ones from the past, it's gonna probably take a few years of iterations, and quite honestly, that's okay because with Verizon being so far ahead of everybody else, maybe, just maybe, AT&T will catch up or T-Mobile, I don't know. But Verizon, if you want 5G, Verizon really is the number one place to go to as long as your device is eligible for that. So I had a chance to talk with Steve from the Indianapolis Colts, and he tells us why is it really important to have 5G in a stadium when you're there to just watch a football game, but it's much more than that. So having 5G technology uh, here in the Lucasville Stadium, one only, only a handful of NFL stadiums in the country to have this technology and our new Wi-Fi uh, system here, uh, it's it's imperative for for the modern media and entertainment age to have your guests have quick, uh, easy access to data, to statistics, to information, uh, and and it's been lacking here in the stadium over the years. The last Wi-Fi system that was installed here was installed uh, in preparation for the Super Bowl that Indianapolis hosted in 2012, but it hasn't really been updated since then. So all this new technology that we're going to be adding to the stadium will hopefully give our fans, give visitors to the stadium a, a much better experience. So if you're like me and you're at a sporting event or really just out in public and you need to Instagram or something like that, uh, this is definitely gonna make sure that that selfie that you just took that you wanna upload to the masses for everyone to see, yeah, you can do that in blazing fast speeds. However, if you're someone who likes to play fantasy football and you're at a Colts game that starts at like one o'clock in the afternoon and you need to make a quick ad drop for a player that starts at four, yeah, the Indianapolis Colts is gonna enable you to be able to do that and enjoy the Colts game because you're gonna be able to do that ad drop really, really quick, probably during a regular TV timeout. 
Huge thanks to the folks out there at the Indianapolis Colts Lucas Oil Stadium, Steve, Paul, and Kyle. Big thanks to Josh from Gotta Be Mobile and Josh Notebooks for kind of bringing me along. I got to have a really cool experience. Uh, yeah, hopefully I get to do that again and sometime soon, kind of bringing you content that I've never really done before. So that's it. That's all I have. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time.